Welcome to Ask Alex Anything, the video blog where you can ask me, Alex, anything you want to about religion. In my last video, I was asked the question, does God exist? I spent time answering why this is one of the most fundamental questions we can ask ourselves, because it determines how we view the meaning of our lives and our morals. However, in this video, I would like to answer this question directly. Initially, I considered providing some of the classic philosophical arguments for God's existence, but many of these are irrelevant in our current culture. Logical proofs mean very little to people today. Therefore, I think it's best to underscore why each point of view is flawed. If one assumes that there is no God, then that forces a very difficult question for which there is no easy answer. Where did the matter that inhabits the universe come from? It's very easy to say there is no God, but that first hydrogen atom had to come from somewhere. And at this point, there is no answer for that question. On the other side, if one assumes there is a God, then one presumes that God created the universe out of nothing. But who's to say that the universe has not always existed? Why does the universe have to have a beginning? Could the universe itself be eternal with no beginning or end? You see, the problem with believing in God is that we allow for God to be eternal, but not the universe itself. This is an oversight on our part. Simply because there's a big bang does not mean that our universe is not infinite. Our universe could expand and contract infinitely, or there could be other universes that precede ours. Though we do not know the answer to this question, if the universe is eternal, meaning it has always existed and always will exist, then there is no need for God. Regardless of which side you fall on, whether you believe in God or not, there are many unanswered questions. And for now, the answer to the question of whether or not God exists comes down to your feeling on the matter. You either believe it in your heart or you don't. Thanks for the question, Trinity. And as usual, keep sending in your questions to Ask Alex Anything or come visit us at pinestreet.org. Until next time, bye-bye.